All right, here we go, people. Here we go. Now, due to the black Delilah story that I spoke of yesterday and this other story of this woman here, Karina, Karina Homer, like I'm going to go and say that this is Karina. <laughs> Holy shit. Now... I am mind blown away of this fucking dream I had. I still haven't found a date when that dream took place. I really have to look into it now due to the fact that the dates on all this information and just by coincidence, my thoughts, my theories, just coincidence. And I'm telling you right now, this ain't, this is all my thoughts and theories, my motivation and there is one thing that was forgotten to be looked into in both these cases. Both these cases was both neglected for one thing. Now you can go and read and I read what I could on, a, on all this. And like I said, there is one thing missing. One. Now, supposedly, I think this woman was a waitress at a bar, a Swedish exchange student, or whatever she was. But, uh, the lower half of her body never been recovered. The family employed her, that employed her, called police when they saw news reports that the beautiful, unidentified young woman had been discovered. Homer, Homer was strangled death to death before she was dismembered. Now, if this is where she worked, and I think it is, here's the Black Delilah story. Miss Short, her body was uh, discovered January 15th. And uh, this happened in June 1996. That's the Homer case. Uh, now the funny, bizarre thing about this one, it's not funny, but the bizarre thing that takes place with all this, and what I have found so far, I am fucking just blown away. <laughs> and like I said, one thing is missing out of this, out of these two investigations. Now, here's the black Delia. Here's her face, cut up. Now, like I said, there are some similarities to the case. One thing that was not in the other case was this, of the face being cut from ear to ear like a... I guess this was some kind of fad back in the 1920s to 30s. And it continued growing throughout today's generations. You wouldn't say about the same... If I don't know why the person would want this person to be smiling from cut. Even though it don't look like she's smiling. But it was a thing back, a trend back in the day that it cut straight up to the ear and make it look like they're smiling with the cut. Now what really gets interesting in this story and what is my thoughts in theory and what is missing as you can see, this one, the Black Delilah, had a past with running with the law. She actually got arrested for drinking underage. So, I mean, I'm not using this woman as a, uh, you know, a comparison to the new person, but the Black Delilah was also a waitress at a bar waitress now what is my thoughts and theories on this I mean I'm sure these girls mighty might have been this one I know might could have been a little troubling nothing serious but to me she seems this woman just looking at her face in the pictures and they say pictures can say a thousand words of course when I read a picture I always come out with something, and usually when I read a picture, it comes out right. 
and what is is comparison to the other girl in this one is that they look very vulnerable Whoop. very vulnerable easy to scope out easy to you know say so make a decision if ooh if I follow her home and like I say in all my things the case on anything if you wanna find a killer you gotta think like a killer it's sick to say but when you can't get into the mind of a killer and you see this brutal friggin crime before you as a investigator I mean there's only so many things you can think of only coming out of the books you gotta think from the streets another thing once again street smarts rule the world and if you have none, yeah, you're going to have a problem in life. Unless you were born into a rich family, you're not making it. And obviously these two women weren't born into a rich family. But they did have the, you know, sense to get themselves a job, support themselves, and try and make a career or whatever they wanted to do or whatever they were trying to do. They were out there and, you know, did what they had to do to make ends meet. This one, on the other hand, I mean, she was trying to become a movie actor. I was right on that, but it didn't fall through. I mean, let alone how she was going about is bizarre. But the two main things... And then the main story, what I'm trying to get at here, and I mean, like I said, a thousand words in a picture, and this girl looks just as vulnerable as the other one. So, I mean, but when you get out into the world of waitressing, <laughs> I'll tell you something. I used to work in the run, in restaurant industry with waitresses, and I'll tell you, sometimes, sometimes, Women do a little bit more to the extreme to get their tips. And if that means they flaunt themselves or let alone just flirty, flirtatious ways of just getting tips, you do it to the wrong person, you're going to spark up something like this. So, I mean, all in all, being a waitress, especially in big cities like Boston and uh, California, now there in California, you got all kinds of sick, demented people, especially in Boston. Hell, you get them in small towns too. Just because you don't hear it all the time don't mean they don't exist. But what really drawn my attention to do this video and to really get into it now, due to the dream of having with the dumpster, and a woman with a black figure. But I can tell you and assure you now, and I'm not just making this up because, you know, I'm doing a story. The woman in there was completely black but did have long hair down past her shoulders. And as you can see here, this woman here, long hair down past the shoulders. And if she were to take that out of the bun, I'm sure it'd be a little longer. But it even gets more crazy. I mean, yes, this was a woman from Sweden, heads into Boston. But why do I think that this kind of, sort of, maybe, what if, maybe, has anything to do with maybe being a copycat killing, maybe be someone that was looking up on this case, or maybe even some of them being a relative, the original murder, or maybe being the original murderer, murderer himself, is because this woman here was born in Boston, Massachusetts. This woman here was born July in night, uh, I don't forget the date, but she was born July in Boston, Massachusetts. This woman here was murdered June 1996, Boston, Massachusetts. This woman here, right, cut in half. 
cut in half. <laughs> See the story where line I'm going with this? Hmm. Even though she didn't get dismantled in the face, maybe this person was an amateur or even yet let alone didn't read maybe the whole story of this and just knew of a woman getting cut in half. Maybe they did know, maybe they did not. Or maybe they just did something a little different like cut it in half. Maybe it was an amateur that got very scared of what they were doing. So threw it in the dumpster, disposed of it quickly and just went on with themselves. And, you know... They did it. Did they get away with it? Yes. Have they been caught? No. The detective has one thing right. It would have to have been done by one person. A fucking maniac. Because maybe sometimes you do get them people to do things in a group. Someone cracks. Someone ain't, ain't, ain't equipped in the brain enough to deal with what they have seen, done, or even let alone, you know can live for with it for the rest of their lives but here's a woman here in Boston Massachusetts get caught up cut up here's a woman from Boston Massachusetts died within one born one died within the same month I don't know you know it could be just you know this is my crazy mind it could be something, maybe, you know, hey, think about it, think about it. Copycat killers, they're out there. I wanted this, did I have something else over here I wanted to show? Oh, no. But it's something to think about. 1996, you know what I did not look up yet? Let me see something. I forgot to even... Let me check one thing. And we're going to check on this. Do, do, do. No. 1947. Hmm. Now see there? A month after the month she was born. Oh no, a month before. And this other girl died a year before she was born. Hmm. And it was happening in June. That's fucking crazy. Almost, almost, almost to the date that this woman was killed. Died January 15th, 1947. The other one died in 1996. A year before. Could have someone been clumsy? She was born July 29th, 1924. Alright, she was born July... The other one was a month before, and the other one was a year before. There it is. Right. The other one was killed in June, and this one was... Oh, no, yeah, not the date. Yeah, because that happened in January. I mean, the date of birth is lining up in the, almost a year. The year almost lines up all before. So a year before and a month before, this woman was killed. The other woman was killed and this one was, eh, you know, almost in the same range. So, I mean, if the killer was thinking or did, went over this case but got it all messed up because, you know, maybe they forgot, maybe they wanted to do it in a different way, a manner, which they did, but... All in all, it could have been, could have been set up to be almost done in the, almost in the same fucking, low, you know, direct path. But they messed up a little. The only thing different is this woman was killed in January. The other one the month before this woman was born. But whatever, you know, think these things. You got to think these things to come up with things to maybe come an idea. Now the most important thing, like I said, that was never mentioned in the case, being a waitress, being flirtatious, how does someone don't know that the person maybe could have killed both these women because they got turned down from wanting to get with them? That's the main thing that I can see why someone gets murdered. But, the twist in this case, and I don't know how the other girl was. I mean, I'm sure she wasn't 
a complete slam pig. But I'm sure she, you know, turned a lot of heads, got a lot of fucking attention. And this one did. And this one was with a married man. Mm-hmm. So there's two things that could have happened here. She turned somebody down because she was with this married man, or she pissed off the woman that she was with, and this woman maybe paid to kill her, have her killed, or whatever, or she killed her, whatever the case may be. But to think the two waitresses died almost around some crazy same year, not the same month, but you, you get what I'm saying? How fucking ironic is that? How coincidental is these two cases? Insane. But this one had a little more backtrack on the record, as you can see, getting arrested, flirting around and messing around with married men. I mean, she could have fucking pissed off another man because he's he seen her with the married man and, you know, oh, turn me down for a married man and pff, you're dead. See, that's the thing out there. You don't know what you get yourself into with men, especially working at the bars. The bars are the worst place to meet people. Worst place. I never met no woman at no bar. I never had, never will. I've seen the women in bars. I've hung in lots of bars. And to see what comes in and out of there, man, I knew to keep my fucking distance because there's some fucking wacky people out there, even for women. I'm sorry. You're trying to find love in a bar? The only thing you're going to find is this. Yourself dead on the side of the road. Vacant lot for this woman. And uh, the other one, of course, was in the dumpster. And having that dream now, now, the last thing I got to do for this is I got to find my video that I talk of this fucking dream and see of the date of when I had that dream. Now, if I had that dream and I put that up in the month of June, oh my God, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. That's gonna be fucking insane. Cause just like the Whitey Bulger case, if for some forsaken goddamn reason, Lee Gates comes up in my name, dream, that name in the Gates is one of the men that killed Whitey Bulger. And if this is a... <laughs> Wow, I'll be fucking mind blown to the day I die. I don't even know what to say. You know, it's just, it just could be just like the two stories, just a coincidence. But for me to cover these like this now, and I have to because I had this dream, and dreams are portholes, dreams are fucking messages. Anybody that does not believe a dream brings you messages or why they occur, and you don't know how to do or use or. You know, you just think of them as just a plain, flat out right dream. There's something wrong with you. You need to go get some help. You need to look more into this stuff. Because I told you I had a dream about two guys telling me about the John Fitch mines. Come to find out John Fitch, of course, is a man that made, made it to the, have the name John Fitch on John Fitch Highway in Fitchburg, Mass. But the mines I never knew about up in the... Rollstone Hills insurance shit. They were telling me about the mines that they used to dig for fucking gold in Fitchburg and all the granite throughout the cities. Where else they brought it to? Them were the mines, the granite mines, gold mines. They used to dig in and they stopped for some apparent reason, but. Hello? Does anybody get what I'm saying? Someone trying to reach me through dreams and shit. And I don't know why they would come across the fucking... Like, Whitey Bulger. I don't, man, I'm still fucking mesmerized on that. Because that dream I had was in the mid-hours of the fucking middle of the night. And I swear to God, Whitey Bulger was killed between the middle of the night and 6 a.m. before they opened up the doors for the breakfast run at the jail. That's right. So this, the dumpster, the lady... And then this article coming up later on of this other woman, I mean, it's like, wow. I'm just fucking blown away, blown away. So I had to share this, I had to tell this story. And right, like I said, this came up a few days ago. Now I got all this coincidence. Shit, what the fuck? Wow, I'm fucking mesmerized. Whew. 
There's so much stuff I gotta take in on because this kind of stuff, I'm just, I, I'm trying to see, do the best way I can to fucking, whoa. what are these messages telling me? Why am I having these dreams? Why am I having this shit? Wow, it's a lot to take in, but be safe, take care. You don't have to believe me. I don't care what you think. You don't have to listen to my stories. You know, could think I'm fucking crazy all you want, but I know I have these dreams. Them are not fake. I don't make this shit up. I don't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. I would not make this shit up. I have no reason to lie. I do make shit up. I've been having dreams since I was a kid of dead people. And to have this come up and this stuff getting more and more intense. Who? Speaking for the dead, baby. That's what I'm here for. I guess that's what I'm here for. So I open up this. Hopefully someone can spark some memory if you did or were or even near this place. Get some memory for you. And see what you find. So in that next video. Out. And believe. <laughs> My ugly puss is still here.